Hey guys, it's me Obed, and today we will see how we can create a Stripe checkout system for our product. Uh, this will be the demo uh, subscription plans I'll be using, but obviously in your case, that will be your actual plans which you want to offer to your users. Okay, and before moving on, I want you to know if you're working on any custom project, uh, feel free to reach out through email or WhatsApp for consultancy or any technical help. Okay, uh, let's start uh, this tutorial. So, uh, let me just open my notebook also. So, for this, uh, I will write two things and before that I want to give you a demo. So I will just start pro. Let's say I am a user and I want to subscribe your uh, plan uh, on your product, right? So I will just say start this plan. This will redirect me to the Stripe uh, session where I can pay with any of my cards. Uh, and I will just fill out, let's say this information for testing we will use obviously this is like testing environment we are not dealing with actual money but i will i will show you that will just like a trigger a uh, click where you can uh, like go to real money acceptance okay and uh, so this 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 let's say subscribe and once I subscribe and all of this is implemented in Python so you know that will be like very easy for you to have that API and I will provide the source code also so that you can see it so you are subscribed to our product right and you can see this is the same website link default flask URL for our website that means whenever a user uh, purchase your services now you have all the uh, power to update their status update their uh, you know data in your application now you can trigger that workflow and set that up right in your database and all that okay uh, now let's see how we can do this so two things we want to have one is uh, the product price id and second is uh, stripe key which is just uh, you know, like the secret key you have like the open ai key like cloud key every every platform have their key right so same is with this stripe so first let's see how you can get this uh, product price key because that is our main motive you just have to go to uh, developers stripe so you will just write developer not paypal stripe uh, login just write that and you will have this kind of link now i'm already there what i have to do is go to product catalog if i don't have any product i will just create a product like this and name everything description whether it's a monthly subscription whether it's a one-time payment all of that you can you can just customize right now i have already this product which i want to integrate in my website right so let's say this plan and once i go there now in the url you can see the price id and it will be here also somewhere but you have to look for that but uh just just like copy copy it from there so price id right and here also you can you can see it okay let's say i copy this uh in in my 
uh, you know notebook I, I already have in code so I will not just do that you do it in your case now the second thing is the stripe API key uh, which is the secret key not publishable key uh, you want to get access to this secret key so just reveal that I'm not gonna do that but you just click on this and you will get this type key now let's go to our code uh, so here I have uh, the flask I'm I'm just uh, like using my flask server one thing which I have used is their stripe uh, module for the Python so just write pip install stripe and it will install it for you then you have to configure your API key now main thing so first you see my plans page this is my index let's say here all of this basic sport so get started this is the free plan which we see uh, here so all of this is my index.html here when I click on this start pro I go to this URL and what this URL do it creates a checkout session for me and now here I have that uh, price ID I can just replace it with any product and it will start accepting for that product right and then I choose my mode as subscription because it is a subscription product if it's a one-time product then you will just say payment mode is equal to payment right now the success URL you have to define whatever is in your case in my case I am redirecting them to the success URL which is rendering this template whatever I have in this template so you saw that right you are subscribed to our product okay now uh, text I keep it automatic so that for every country uh, stripe knows wh what is the text there right so they will alt automatically take care of that uh, and what it is doing basically is redirecting to that URL which stripe is providing us and one uh, once it is a success uh, payment then it will uh, like user will get back to our website on this URL and now we can like here let's say I have the JavaScript to update or call my another Python API which will update their status in my application so all of that I can do there okay now uh, I, I was just writing this stripe ai nodes uh, so i will i will make tutorials on that on that one also okay thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video